after this, Simon Peter had been standing there warming himself. The servants in the guard said to him, Are you not a disciple of his? I am not. But did I not see you with him in the garden? He insisted one of the high priest's slaves, as it had been, a relative of the man who knew Peter had severed. Peter denied it again. At that moment, a cock began to crow. At daybreak, they brought Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. They did not enter the praetorium themselves, for they had to avoid the ritual impurity if they were to eat the Passover supper. Pilate came up to them. What accusations do you bring against this man? If he were not a criminal, we would certainly not have handed him over to you. Why do you not take him and pass judgment on him according to your own law? We may not put anyone to death. This was to fulfill what Jesus had said, indicating that he was acting with God. Pilate went back to the first room and summoned Jesus. Are you the king of the Jews? Are you saying this on your own, or have people been telling you about me? I am no Jew. It has been your people and the high priest who have handed you over to me. What have you done? <coughs> My kingdom does not belong to this world. If it were of this world, my subjects would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. As it is, my kingdom is not here. So then, you are king. It is you who said that I am a king. The reason I was born, the reason I came into this world, is to testify to the truth. Anyone committed to the truth hears my voice. Truth? What does truth mean? After this, Pilate went out again to the Jews. Speaking for myself, I find no place against this man. Recall your customs, whereby I release to you someone at Passover time. Shall I release to you the king of the Jews? We want Barabbas, not this one. Barabbas was a revolutionist. Pilate's <coughs> next move was to take Jesus and have him scourged. The soldiers then wore the crown of thorns to be fixed on his head, throwing around his shoulders a cloth of war over. Repeatedly they came up to him and said, All hail, king of the Jews. Pilate went out again a second time. Observe what I do. I'm going to bring him out to you to make you realize that I find no case against you. Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak. Look at the man. As soon as the chief priest and the temple police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him! 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 Take him and crucify him yourselves. I find no case against him. We have our law, and according to that law, he must die, because he made himself God's son. When Pilate heard this kind of talk, he was more afraid than ever, and went back to the great room. <coughs> Where do you come from? Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you not know I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? You would have no power over me whatsoever, unless it weren't given to you from above. This is why he who handed me over to you is guilty of the greater sin. After this, Paul was eager to release him, but some of the Jews shouted, If you free this man, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who becomes king becomes Caesar's rival. Paul heard what they were saying, then brought Jesus outside and took a seat on a judge's bench at the place called the Stone Pavement, called the Thug in Hebrew. It was a preparation day for Passover, and the hour was about noon. He said to the Jews, Look at the king, your king. Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! What? Shall I crucify your king? We have no king but Caesar. In the end, Paul handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was led away, and carrying the cross by himself, went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. There they crucified him, and two others with him, one on each side, Jesus in the middle. Pilate had an inscription placed on the cross, which read, Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. This inscription, in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek, read by many, for the place where Jesus was, buried, was crucified was near the city. Some of the Jews and the chief priests tried to tell Pilate, You should not have written king of the Jews. Write instead, this man claimed to be king of the Jews.
soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them four ways, one for each soldier. There was also his tunic, but this tunic was woven in one piece from top to bottom, which had no seam. One soldier said, We should not tear it, but let's throw dice to see who gets it. The purpose of this was to have the scripture fulfilled. They divided my garments among them, for my clothing they cast lots. And this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus, there stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. Seeing his mother there with the disciple whom he loved, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, there's your son. And he turned to the disciple. And there's your mother. From that hour onward, the disciple took her into his care. After that, Jesus, realizing that everything was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture. I'm thirsty. There was a jar there. Full of common wine. He stuck his blood and took him his wine off and kissed him and raised it to his lips. When Jesus took the wine, he said, Now let's finish. Then he bowed his head and delivered over his spirit. Day, the Jews did not want to have their bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, for the Sabbath was a solemn feast. Accordingly, the soldiers came and broke the leg of the men crucified with Jesus, first of one, then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so they did not break his leg. One of the soldiers took a lance and thrust it into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. This has been given by an eyewitness, and this eyewitness's testimony is true, because he wants you to believe. These events took place for the fulfillment of Scripture. Break out of his bow. There is still another Scripture passage that says, Look on him whom they have feared. Afterwards, Joseph was served with Thea, a disciple of Jesus, but a secret one, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove Jesus' body. Pilate granted it, so they came and took his body away. Nicodemus, the man who came to Jesus at night, was also there, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, which weighed about 100 pounds. They took Jesus' body, and in accordance with Jewish burial customs, they sound it up in wrappings of cloth with perfumed oil. In the place where he was crucified, there was a garden. And in the garden, a tomb, in which no one had ever been buried. Because of Jewish preparation day, they laid Jesus there, for the tomb was close to hand.
gospel of the Lord.